we've got to deal with this panel and all of this bus related nonsense so first i'm going to take out the security cameras i think that's the easiest the most separate system to tackle go and so far. so far today I have removed the stop arm the stop sign arm and one flasher one set of flasher lights it's a little bit overwhelming the amount of wiring in this thing and figuring out where it goes like I understand where it all goes but I don't understand all the wiring look this is the color the bus used to be nice and nice and clear coated now it's this awful yellow paint day three what is getting poor we've identified door power and ground and that's what we're working on pulling out right now it is this lib mark 10 and 55 is the blue one so we're pulling this out So, recording this on my phone because GoPro's dead. Um, got all the wiring done today, minus the vandal lock. Didn't get to that. This was the damage, plus a pile of trash that I already threw out. Um, inside, it's a little barren, it's a little dirty, but it's uh, just down to the wires that are necessary to keep the lights running while we're driving. Um, yeah. Uh, a lot done today. I got a lot done. Yeah, it was a good day. As far as my to-do list goes, disconnect all flashers, done. Find and make direct door to switch connection, done. Backup light cable, don't know what that was, done. Uh, remove vandal lock switch, didn't do that. Remove dome light, or disconnect dome lights, done. Disconnect AC power. Uh, I think I did that. I don't know if, I don't know if that has power or if it's a separate, um, system so <laughs> it was a good week i did about in three days probably about 40 hours i'm gonna say 30 to 40 hours in there somewhere and got a lot done um, i'm happy with what i got done and in a couple weeks we'll get back to it